Spain is hit by a financial and economic crisis that finds its sources largely in the private sector over indebtedness caused by an unsustainable housing boom. These imbalances, which have important consequences for the overall competitiveness of the Spanish economy, were created domestically, but were also made possible by deficiencies in the euro area's architecture. All European stakeholders recognize the magnitude of the fiscal and structural reforms already undertaken and those planned. They need to be implemented in full. They may be costly and difficult in the short term, but will contribute to growth and employment in the medium term. These adjustments are difficult and need time to yield results. But if financial markets defiance persists during this period of adjustment, European leaders have stated during the June European Council their readiness to assist the Spanish authorities further. As the crisis in Spain has highlighted, progress on the banking union is particularly urgent. Setting up a single banking supervisor covering all banks in the euro area is key in this context. And to this effect, the European Commission will make concrete legislative proposals in September. Let there be no doubt, the euro is irreversible. And let me insist again, Greece's future is undoubtedly in the euro area. But it is only by combining strong actions in each member state and strong actions collectively that we can put this crisis behind us.